Oh, it's a bit blowy here on the south coast of the Isle of Wight today. It's the last day of uh, August 2024. What is it? The 31st. It's really breezy. It's about just coming up for eight in the morning. I'm really beginning to feel autumnal now. I'm just down here at uh, Dudley Road Car Park to see if there's any bird migration going on. The gulls are getting, sounding a bit anxious. They may have seen something. It's quite overcast, so might have been a bit of an arrival up on the downs. Might be a few bits and bobs down here, you never know. Barely done any birding this year, this autumn I mean. Well, this year, barely did any in the spring. In terms of looking at migrants. Do like it when uh, the summer slips into autumn and winter, especially winter, because I get loads more work done. <laughs> in terms of writing, when the weather's a bit minging. Too many distractions in summer and autumn with the birds going through. Although because with my writing I use voice to text a lot, that's oh, two really close, well there's one really close gannet down there. So if I can zoom in, can you see that? Really, really close in. Don't know if you would have seen that. Yeah, probably not. It may come out again at the on the other side. That was really close. I'll say when it comes out again, but I Yeah, way too way too far now. Close on shore, but too far to see. Very nice. So tamarisks. Seems very quiet in terms of migrant birds. So there's nothing really going overhead, no swallows. There were quite a few yesterday. Especially just offshore, following the shoreline. Yeah, beginning to pick up the sea. Don't think we've got any storms on the horizon, so. Zoom back out again, that's better. Yeah, I was saying, because I'm using voice to text, it does mean in summer I can just sit on the beach and talk when I'm wanting to write books and it will just convert my voice into text there and then on my phone usually. What's that that was calling? Sounded like a gold crest. Um, fire crest even. Yeah, so if you ever do want to write a book, if you're listening to this and you want to write a book, I definitely recommend investigating just the voice to text functionality that comes with your phone if you've got a modern smartphone. 
I've just got an iPhone 13, which isn't the latest, obviously, iPhone, but uh, just the operating system within it has free voice-to-text functionality, which means uh, I can write everything, really. So emails and messages and, you know, any kind of writing, the blog, any kind of writing, I can use voice-to-text for that. I don't really need to type anymore. And it works really, really well. Voice-to-text does require a bit more editing after you've done the manuscript because you get a few more errors, especially with the grammar side of things. You have to talk the grammar and some of the grammar you can't really talk, it doesn't really work. Commas and full stops and new line, that kind of stuff. You can do most of the structure and grammar using voice to text, but some of it you need to go back and sort out during editing and you need to do editing anyway, so it doesn't really make much difference. Yeah, there's not many birds around today, so I really do want coffee decaf obviously. Uh, there's a couple of swallows over there just gone through. There's one, you may have seen that. Whizzing through, going uh, east. Not sure where the prevailing breeze is coming from. It may be vaguely easterly, don't know. Can't see any flag anywhere to tell me. I'll feel it in a minute, yeah, it's definitely east or northeast maybe. Going by the fact that I'm in shelter here and we'll soon be coming out into a breezy bit. Couldn't think of anywhere I'd rather be in a, a blustery autumn day than Ventnor on the Isle of Wight. Great place for winter storms. Autumn gales and winter storms. Excuse the wind. Might be a bit noisy. Right, thank you for watching people. Let's pan around, get another view. I'm going to head down into the bay and get some coffee. Do subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so and uh, press the like button for the video. And uh, I shall see you hopefully on the next, uh, next video, which will be very soon, I promise. So I hope you're enjoying this video about uh, Ventnor and the Undercliff. If so, then don't forget there are two books I've written. One birdwatching around Ventnor, creatively named, and the second one is uh, wildlife watching around Ventnor. Just short books um, about the local area that are the subject of this video, available on Amazon. I'll put a link below for this uh, video, and um, you can also order it from the library, and it's available in all major bookshops, both of these little booklets, and in a few shops along the Esplanade, like the uh, Longshoreman's Museum and uh, Lady Scarlet's Tea Room as well, but um, yeah, I'll put a link to the description if you want a slightly deeper dive into the uh, Isle of Wight Undercliff, then these two little booklets might be of interest to you. Just go onto Amazon otherwise and just search for Steve Jones and Ventnor and you should find them. Mm -hmm.